and girls, Miss Donna here again today, and we're back to talking about bugs, small creatures, big lessons, and let's find out what What's Up is today with Skittles. What's up? Lightning bugs are awesome. 
Did you know that Christians have a light too? Jesus is our light, and in a world that's dark because of sin, we carry Jesus wherever we go. It's neat that this little bitty bug can shine a big light, just like little bugs can teach big lessons. Well, I didn't read it anywhere, but I'm pretty sure it's lightning bugs that you can eat. Let's give it a try. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I may have gotten that fact wrong, Ugh. but I do know this. Today in your lesson, you're going to learn about how you can let your light shine for Jesus. Well, I'm off to find the bed bug. Gotta catch them all! The entire Oh, boys and girls, Mosquito, he's something else, isn't he? Well, our lesson today, boys and girls, is found in God's Word, Exodus chapter 34. And we've been talking about Moses. Last week we talked about him. And this week we're talking about Moses. And you know, he must have been pretty tired. He was leading those Israelites all around for 40 years. 40 years they walked around looking for the promised land. And as the Israelites were, they kept grumbling and complaining and they were frustrated and you know, when you go on a trip and you say, are we there yet? I'm sure that the Israelites were asking Moses, are we there yet? And so, boys and girls, Moses was tired. He was worn out. And you know, boys and girls, you know where he went when he felt tired and worn out? Well, he knew exactly where he needed to go to receive strength. It's the same place that you and I must go. We must go into the presence of God. When we go into God's presence, he will fill us with his spirit and give us the strength that we need. You know, boys and girls, <coughs> excuse me, one day Moses had returned after spending time with God and there was something different about Moses, though, when he returned. And the people noticed that Moses had a strong glow on his face. Well, boys and girls, the glow was because he had spent time talking with God face to face. And the glory of God was so strong that it just radiated all over Moses' face. It says... When Moses came down from Mount Sinai carrying the two stone tablets inscribed with the terms of the covenant, he wasn't aware that his face had become radiant because he had spoken to the Lord. Boys and girls, the people saw the glow on Moses, but Moses didn't see it. And it says that the glow, that the glow was so strong that the people had a hard time looking at him. They couldn't see his face because it was so bright. It shone so bright. So Moses had to do something about it. And God's word continues in chapter 34. It says that when he came around the people, he put a veil over his face. But when he went in to speak with the Lord, he would take that veil off. And then he would speak with the Lord and God would fill him with his presence. And then when he came back out, he had to put the veil back on because the glow was so strong. Boys and girls, can you imagine what it must have been like to have, um, for people to be able to see, to be so obvious that God was with him, that God can be with you as well? Boys and girls, it's so exciting. In our lesson today, you're going to learn that each of us can have that same kind of experience, boys and girls. Now, I don't mean that your face is literally going to glow like Moses' did, but you will learn that Jesus is the light of the world. And if Jesus lives in you, then you will be able to shine your light just like Moses did, and you can shine your light in a dark world. Let's listen to what our power verse is about today.
Professor Busby McFly, and I am a bugologist, which means I study insects every day to determine what valuable lessons they might give us in order for us to become better Christians. Today's bug is the amazing firefly, or the lightning bug. Now, these luminous creatures are amazing because when it gets night out, their little bodies light up like a light bulb. Now, the biggest question that I get about these bugs is, where do they come from? Well, it's a little known fact that what you have to do is catch lightning in a bottle, add two thirds ladybugs, one third glycerin, shake until foamy, let rest for two hours, and then unscrew the top and whoop, voila! Lightning bugs! I think, probably, I don't know. But what I do know is that the lightning bug reminds me of today's power bird. Two, five, sixteen. That was fantastic, boys. You may sit down. Now, all the girls stand to your feet and sing the power verse on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Let your light shine before men. Matthew, five, sixteen. Wonderful. You may be seated. Isn't that so true? We must light up the world. Wonderful that we live. Until next time, this is Professor Buns B. McFly. Bye! Oh, boys and girls, our verse today is, Let your light shine before men. Matthew 5, 16. That light isn't like the lightning bug, but that light is Jesus within us, his Holy Spirit shining out. And we're going to learn more about that today. You know, boys and girls, <clears throat> the lightning bug is a tiny little bug, tiny, tiny little bug, and just the bottom part lights up. And on a really, really, really dark night, if you look out into a field, you'll be able to see these lightning bugs and they go off all over the place. It's so cool. I saw some lightning bugs the other day and I was hoping to be able to videotape them for you, but I couldn't. Anyways, we can remember about the lightning bugs and we can learn big lessons from this little guy. Boys and girls, we need to remember that this world is a dark place. The world is a dark place because of sin. Remember, sin is anything we say, anything we do, anything we think that doesn't please God. Every single one of us were born with the want to do the wrong thing. And that's sin. People who don't know Jesus, who have a passion to do the cross of their life, they're still dealing with all that sin. And they don't know how to make right choices because they're living in a dark place. We don't have the light of Jesus within us. So boys and girls, we need to let them know that Jesus is the light of the world. When Jesus came into the world as a little baby, he had the love of God with him, and that love is what lit up the whole place. When people were standing there nearby Jesus, they knew that he was different. Boys and girls, when people see Jesus, they think, hey, you know, something different about this person. Do they see Jesus? Jesus is the light of the world, boys and girls. And Jesus wants 
children's worker, you can do it, or, oh, Pastor Osborne, you're the preacher. You need to be the one to share God's light with everybody else. But boys and girls, God tells us all are to go and share him with others. That means you and that means me. Many people don't realize it. They think, oh, I can't shine my light. I'm too little. Boys and girls, the lightning bug is super tiny and it shines its light. You are big with God. You can share it with others. I want to tell you about a girl who lives in India. Her name is Usha. And Usha is a young girl who lives in India with um, her family, her mom and her dad. And she lives in a very dark place. Like I said, she lives in India. Her family believes in Hinduism. Hinduism, boys and girls, is where you think that there are thousands and thousands of gods. And the one God that we believe in is not their God. They believe there's thousands of gods. And so that's what Usha and her family believed in. They live in a slum in the city of Bangalore, India. It's a place so filthy, so dirty, and so miserable. This is a picture right here of her home. Do you see how small it is? It's about the size of a closet. And yet her mother, her father, her sister, all and Usha all live in this tiny home. Usha's family doesn't have any money. As a matter of fact, the only way that Usha and her family can make any money to buy food or clothing is to go through the trash piles. And then they look by the side of the road and then they look for pieces of glass, cardboard, or anything that they can sell. Well, one day Usha met two people called Selvin and Lada. They were a Christian couple who invited all the kids from the slum to their house every day for a Bible study. Usha went to this Bible study and asked Jesus to be her Lord and Savior. Usha was so excited about having Jesus in her heart, she took the Bible that Selvin and Lada had given her and she took it home to tell her parents. Well, boys and girls, her parents were not very happy at all. As a matter of fact, they were very angry. And they told Usha that she could not read her Bible. She could not pray in their house. So boys and girls, Usha took her Bible and she went to the only place that she could read it and, and pray and not be yelled at. And you know where that was? That was in the town's bathroom. You see, they didn't have running water. And so they had like an outhouse in the town and everybody went there. And that's where Usha would read her Bible in that smelly, stinky bathroom. That's where she went to read about Jesus and that's where she went to pray. Boys and girls, God was working in her life and people were seeing that Usha, there was something different about her. There was a brightness. There was a love in her life, and, and they just didn't understand it. Well, you know, boys and girls, she could have made a lot of excuses about how she was too young, her parents were against her, but she knew she had to shine her light. So she continued to pray and read her Bible every day in that smelly bathroom. Eventually, she made such an impact on her parents that they told her she was now allowed to pray and read her Bible at home. She didn't have to go to the smelly bathroom. They even asked her to pray for God's blessing on their home. Oh my goodness. And boys and girls, now every morning at 6 a.m. And it's not going. 
every morning at 6 a.m., over 100 kids will walk in the dark to Selvam and Latte's house for Bible study. 100 kids in your house for Bible study.